We're about to take a look round a bit of a rare beast for the UK, a Bayer 45. Built in uh, 99 this one. As you can see, it's a bit of a beast. Nice big bathing platform for good access. Uh, the owner has also fitted, uh, or extended I should say, the pulpit rails. Uh, so this section just here, um, yeah, when he bought the boat, uh, had these fitted to make it easier to get around the side decks. A nice large foredeck as well. But the, the bay is a 45 foot hard top sports cruiser. Uh, unlike some hard top sports cruisers, you are actually looking through the glass windscreen as opposed to uh, the vinyl uh, of a canopy. Speaking of canopies, this one is new. As you can see, it's also got new cockpit uh, upholstery as well, which we'll take a look at shortly. So the engine uh, choice on this one, she's got a pair of Volvo TAM, TAMD 74Ps, so 480 horsepower, and they're through surface drives. So she is certainly a flyer, absolute flying machine. Got bow thruster, stern thruster, um, a Raymarine chart plotter C120. Um, there's, a, there's a good spec, we've got aircon, heating, autopilot. Uh, and you've got, of course, you've got being a hard top sports cruiser, you can't quite show you from here, but you've got an opening sunroof as well. Right, let's jump inside, get out of the wind, and show you the cockpit. Right, that's a bit better. Hopefully, you can hear me now. Uh, so, this is the cockpit. We've got a lovely big cockpit area. As mentioned, we've got the new cockpit upholstery. Quite like the navy and the orange, I think it works, works quite well together. So I mentioned we've got bow thruster, stern thruster, Raymarine autopilot, uh, C120 chart plotter, the HF. We've also got this nice little wet bar just down here as well. A couple of fridge drawers and a uh, sink to under here. And then of course we've got the lovely big sun pad back of the cockpit here. Engine access is uh, obviously you can find under here as well. Um, we've got the large dinette table. I mentioned the visibility earlier through looking through the windscreen as opposed to vinyl. Hopefully that gives you a bit of a insight into that. It's a nice position. Now sort of sat on the helm seat. It's very clear and easy to see out and see all around you. Actually, it's a very light boat for a you know, a, a hard top with um, with no windows in the hard top. Okay, so under here we have got the crew cabin. Kids will love this, their own little private den. And also we have out the bathing platform, we've got the Hurley Marine tender system on there as well, for launching and recovering a tender. Um, I mentioned the spec earlier, saying the spec's uh, a good one. It does also, um, we've got uh, generator air conditioning as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned those earlier. Um, so she has got, uh, you know, uh, everything you could possibly need um, for sort of cruising in uh, in plenty of comfort. Let's take a look down into the main saloon. Well, first impressions. We've got a lovely finish here, high gloss would finish. Good sized saloon seating there. Uh, so this, this is a non-standard table. Um, 
but very cleverly there is a uh, TV on a pop-out system uh, fitted inside the uh, uh, aft, edge, aft edge of the table here. So um, you've got a nice 32 inch uh, flat screen TV in there. Full size fridge freezer. Loads of stowage. It is a two cabin sports cruiser, so we've got uh, your standard layout, sort of four and aft uh, cabin. So let's take a look at the aft cabin to start with. So in here, we've got the two singles. Good headroom. I mean, certainly six foot plus in here. Um, even as you step down, you know, you've got probably about six foot as you step down. And then obviously when you get a bit lower, actually onto the berth and the headroom's a bit more restricted. But really nice, bright light cabin, plenty of space. So if you've got a couple of kids, it's, it's absolutely perfect. Or even if um, friends coming to stay uh, for a long weekend, um, certainly it's, a, it's not a cabin to be ashamed of. Storage is really good. You can see you've got the large wardrobe. And a couple of drawers. It's very nicely finished, this boat. Lots of, we need these features here. I mean, this is, I'm assuming where all the air conditioning vent is, but rather than just stick a vent in there, they've made it a bit of a feature of the saloon. Um, yeah, it's nice. The forward cabin, this is particularly good. So you've got a separate shower to port and then a separate ensuite heads to starboard. Both really good size. Yeah, six foot plus headroom in the shower again. And same in the toilet compartment. But let's look at the space in here. Let's just zoom out a little bit. There you go. A big island double bed, plenty of space all around the floor. Again, light, bright, nicely finished. Two hanging wardrobes. Very, very nice. And then the sort of day toilet um, is also a shower as well. We've got a shower cubicle which folds out around you. The biggest compartment uh, for a boat of this size, but it's very functional. Um, electric flush toilets as well. I'm absolutely perfect for a day head. Uh, I'm, you know, and if you've got guests that you know showering, I mean that's not a bad space. Um, or I mean you could certainly let them use the, the forward shower as well. So, okay, let, let's summarise. This has been the Bayer 45. Big spec on this boat. Um, it's got everything. Bound thruster, stern thruster, generator, air conditioning, inverter, heating in the cabins, heating in the cockpit. We've got a cockpit wet bar. We've got Raymarine plotter, Raymarine autopilot. Um, pair of big 480 horsepower engines. Uh, what's not to like? You know, um, she's big, she's comfortable, she's nicely finished. Um, and she's a bit unusual. Uh, surface drives, looking forward to trialling this one. It's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Um, well worth a look. Uh, head over to our website, www.mya.co.uk. Full details can be found on there. Um, thank you for watching.